My seventh grade daughter, along with every other classmate, watched a boy in her class masturbate. Now I will be speaking to the parents listening. On May 17th, my seventh grade daughter, along with every other classmate, watched a boy in her class masturbate. I only saw it. I only know this because my daughter told me in the car when I picked her up, saying her friends said they were disturbed, traumatized, and scared. The principal reported the incident to the district office. I've heard not from any one of them. It does not take an expert to figure out what happens to a 13-year-old boy when he's staring at mostly naked girls wearing underwear to school and being exposed to concepts like oral and anal sex in seventh grade. They let children write the dress code. The Teen Talk Comprehensive Sex Ed is not age appropriate and neither are supported by parents and teachers have spoken out adamantly against this. Despite all of this, they approved them both five to zero, just like everything else they slipped in while we weren't watching. My daughter and that boy are victims of this board's approved content and curriculum and I hold them each personally responsible for the social and emotional damage to these children. There was outrage on uh, the subject of the boy who was masturbating in one of his classes. And I just want to ask, did the teacher and the board allow that? Or is this something that might have just happened? Did, did we allow it? <laughs> I mean, I... So I would say that this itself is a confidential issue. It's a student. I don't think any of you would want us up here chatting about an issue that took place with your child. Um, when we talk about um, masturbation, it uh, could be rubbing of their jeans with their hand outside of their pants. doesn't necessarily need to be inside. As someone who's been an elementary and middle school principal, um, I would say that at least once a year, this comes up from both males and females um, within a school setting. And so I don't think that this is anything outside the norm um, that would take place. So I would know, you know, when we have a student that may be touching themselves in their jeans, in their pants pocket or whatever, you know, this is usually an issue that's discussed with the parent at home if they're aware of it. I will say that there's also other emotional issues and psychological things that students are working through. Um, and, and that's, you know, sometimes parents are finding out that there may have been something dramatic that happened to that child, things like that. So as much as you may not believe this, we, you're asking questions about a particular student who may have something that I'm not going to share with this group, or may they, they may not in this particular case. But, um, you know, it is a sensitive subject, and I won't go into any more details than that.